If you want to have a successful podcast or online business, you actually don't need millions of followers. You might not even need hundreds of thousands of followers. A small, close-knit community that's really supporting and engaging with your work, whether that's podcast episodes, video content, or your online courses, having a small, close-knit group of not just followers, but engaged fans might be all you need to have a successful content creator or online business. So how do you foster that kind of close-knit community that's not just casual followers, but those engaged with your content? I'm gonna give you three major ways to do it. Number one is getting to know your audience. Maybe you're creating a podcast and it's audio only right now. Well, you might have lots of people listening. You see the download numbers, maybe there's hundreds or even thousands of listeners. But if it's audio only, there's not really a way to engage or interact with that audience. People can leave reviews and things like Apple Podcasts and Spotify. And just a little side tip on one of my podcasts, we give shout outs to anyone who leaves a five star rating and review in Apple Podcasts. That's a little strategy you can try to foster some more reviews. But publishing your podcast or other content in a format where your audience can engage and actually comment is really important. That's why if you have a podcast, having it on YouTube with a video version is crucial. Now, maybe you have an audio only show right now and you're not sure how to go about adding video. Well, I'm gonna show you in a moment how to use Riverside, which is where I record all the content for my video podcast and allows me to format that in lots of different ways. But more on that in a second. And another great method that I actually just started with my podcast is creating an online community. This is using the Circle platform and here we have over 100 members in just about a week and a half, and we're having some amazing engagement, lots of comments, and really getting to interact with that audience. And now the people that are a part of this community are no longer just followers, seeing the content when they're swiping through, but really engaging. Then one day when you make the ask either to purchase an online product or a digital service, these are the people that you can reach out to who already support your work and love what you do. So number one, you have to get to know your community. Number two, create content specifically for them. For my podcast, not only do we have the public episodes that go out via audio and video, but we actually release bonus episodes every week. We do that in Apple Podcasts. You see here it says subscribers only. And we're also posting content specifically for those a part of our online community. Now I know just creating the regular public content can be a lot of work, but that's why using Riverside makes it easy to create both that regular episode or online video content, and then that bonus members only content at the same time. Let me show you what I do. Here's the last episode of our podcast that we recorded. And one of the easy ways to create content, maybe for shorts, Instagram reels, you can generate magic clips, which will automatically find engaging moments, create that vertical video. Then you can share that on the social media platforms for discovery, or just share these within your community. Maybe it's funny moments that only a really engaged audience are gonna enjoy. After just a few moments, these magic clips are generated. And now with an hour and a half recording, I get lots of these magic clips, about 60 seconds each, ready for me to further edit. I can jump in and edit these further. They already have those animated captions on it and then export this for social media. But I'll show you what it looks like to edit the full episode. So if I go to the edit button here on my Riverside recordings page, and I have the full recording here ready to edit. If you wanna reorder how your hosts and guests appear, click the tracks icon on the right, change the layout. I like to add a little spacing around the corners and even add a custom background for your brand. Now we actually record our full podcast episode and bonus content immediately after. So it's all part of one recording. That makes it easy to edit here in Riverside. I know I end the normal episode by saying, see you next week. So I'm gonna search for that in the transcript. And now I can see every time I said next week here in the recording, and right here, if I roll my mouse over, we'll see a little bit of context. That's actually the end of the full episode. I'm gonna zoom in on my timeline. And now I know the bonus content starts right here. I can split the clip using this tool and then delete everything before it. This is non-destructive, so I can always start another edit with the full recording. And now here's our 12 minute bonus episode that's just for our paid subscribers and supporters. Now I can go up to export. I usually normalize the audio levels so we're the same volume. And I can export this as a video and share it as an unlisted YouTube video or share the audio file as an MP3 and then upload this to Apple Podcasts just for subscribers. And that fast, I have my bonus content specifically for our supporters alongside my full episode. I do that every week and Riverside makes it easy to not only record that all together, but then edit it super fast like I just did. That's literally all I do. So number one, get to know your audience, learn what they like to hear or like to see, engage with their comments on YouTube and other community platforms. Number two, create content specifically for them and Riverside makes that easy. And number three, and this is very important, whether you're doing bonus content or just ongoing episodes, be consistent. If you release an episode every other week or every week, Make sure it releases on the same day, every week. Let your audience know what to expect and they'll develop the habit of engaging with your content regularly. And I understand for many of you, this is probably a side deal alongside a full-time job and family and other responsibilities. And I get it too. I have three kids alongside trying to do a couple podcasts, 
but that's why I use Riverside because it makes the entire process super easy. When I'm ready to record a show, I can just go to my studio here for primary technology. I choose my camera, mic, and headphones, and then I'm here in the studio. Once my co-host joins, Jason Aiton, then we start recording. And throughout the recording, I actually share my screen when we're talking about news articles or other things of interest. And this way, all of those screen shares and media board files are actually a part of the Riverside editor automatically. This saves on my editing time later. And if you want to see my entire podcast process where I basically don't do any editing, you can check out this video above and I'll put that link in the description. Then when we're done recording, I'll jump back into the Riverside editor. If there's any editing required, I usually put markers while we recorded, which show up as these purple dots in the timeline. Then I can zoom in and make precision edits just by dragging the in and out point here. I can also edit the content just by selecting words or phrases and then clicking delete. Like I'm editing a Word document, I just edited my video and audio. Plus we have powerful magic tools like set pace, which can remove the perfect amount of silences from the entire recording. Choose how fast you would like the pace, and we'll tell you how many pauses and how many seconds will be cut from the recording. And if someone recorded with a built-in laptop or a mobile phone mic, you can use our magic audio feature to make it sound studio quality. If you want to change the format for a vertical video, you can do that up here. And like I showed you, you can change the brand layout and reorder the tracks. You can also add those captions here, lots of built-in presets. And then you can further customize these captions with fonts, sizes, and different colors. We also have several animation styles like scaling words or boxed. You can preview what that animation looks like here. I actually like putting a background color behind the captions and the boxed animation style. So let's preview that. And we have several overlay tools here on the right. I can overlay text like for lower thirds or URLs, maybe for a sponsor break. I can move that around the frame. I can also overlay images, both stock imagery. I could search for it here. Then I can click it, fill the frame. And this is a great way to add full screen images after the fact if you weren't able to use screen share during the recording. You can also upload custom imagery here Overlay that on your recording. And with Riverside, you can add custom intro and outros just by clicking the plus button here, pull from your other Riverside recordings, or upload your own video file. And you can also choose to insert video or audio clips by using the plus button in between two segments. We also automatically generate chapter markers, which is great for YouTube. You can copy those by clicking the three dots and then copy the chapters list and a ton more. Then when you're ready to export, if you're on a paid Riverside account, you can export up to 4K video. I normalize the audio levels, and when I export that, I upload it right to YouTube. And you can see here on our YouTube channel, every video that you see on this page, both the full episodes and all of these shorts were created specifically in Riverside. You can actually see in this short that I created with Riverside, we have the animated captions, me and my co-host, and we use the image overlay feature right here to emphasize what we were talking about. So it's time to get creating, be consistent, and create some of that bonus content specifically for your engaged audience members and listeners. So if you want to learn more about Riverside and how you can use it for your podcast and other video content, check out this playlist right here where I walk you through the entire platform and the new features, which even more features are coming soon. And if you want to upgrade your setup, maybe it's time to add video to your podcast, I'll put a video right here showing different setups at all budget levels. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel before you go. If you have any questions about building an engaged audience, leave comments below this video. I answer those personally. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you next time.